Hello there, friends, and it's version 2 here with Let's Play Kingdom Hearts 358 Days Over 2. Today, I have moved around to my um, deck for the Astral Blast. It's a bomb. I've got my level tripler. It's now here. It's there. Uh, it was really simple to get. I had a level 2 with my Thundagas on there, and it was the weird shaped, like, um, like, when I went, uh, like, you're starting at the top, went down, left, down. Um, if that makes any sense, and I just replaced it with the square, and then everything everything could fit. Not only could everything fit, but I did manage to get my high jump in there with the extra blocks on there. So yay, one more level. I need one more level to fill up that one, and one more air slide, and I need one more high jump plus. So boom, that's what happens there. Um, I'm gonna quickly check the shop to see if any of those other things were there. That uh, do I have a? Can I buy or make a glide that has more slots in it? Because I don't actually know. Another um, thing there. I can put a block with a bunch of shit on for block, but I'm, I'm not gonna bother. Uh, no, there's no air slot or glide things that I can buy. Just the bigger treasure magnet, which I do not care about. And no things there. So I can make it. No champion gear plus. I already bought that one. What am I doing? And then just that shit there. And then these things here, but we don't know if we need any of those yet. And can I synthesize any of it? I can synthesize more than Darkers. Oh, also dodging the flex, I don't have. I don't actually have dodging the flex. Um, I have the dodge rush one, the one that I was waiting for for ages and I did all the missions to get. And I'm kind of thinking of replacing dodge rush with dodging the flex. Because bouncing back enemy attacks when I do a dodge roll, it basically turns my dodge roll into a block. Which is like the best. But uh, what I needed was the... Uh, what tech was it? Range tech. I want to save any of the things that I'm saving up to buy and need range tech. There's all these blocks. There's so many blocks here. I just do not give a shit about them. It's the best. Uh, quick recovery link. Um, I think I can only... F I think all my recovery things in my um, air recovery thing, I think they're all filled anyway. Um, the hazard gear. I never made that, did I? I don't think I ever made the hazard gear. But I can make it now. Did I make the hazard gear? I'm going to have to check that. But if I can make it now, I can make it now. Actually, does the hazard gear use anything for these ones? Uh, plus, 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 Horror Chalcom D, uh, Luck Premium, and Mithril. Uh, that uses none of those. Okay, I'm gonna check and see if I can, uh, and then, like, all these ones just, eh, 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 eh. Did I make the hazard gear? Because if I haven't made the hazard gear, then I'll hazard a guess that I'll buy it now and then use it. Ba boom, I'm clever! Um, scroll down quickly to find it here. Rage Gear Plus. No, I do not have the hazard gear. Well, in that case, let's make that, and then equip that, and see what its moveset's like. And I will hazard a guess that it might be interesting. <laughs> I'm still so funny. Uh, don't kill me. Um, where am I? Hazard gear! Boom, we can make that, and then I believe we can still make our uh, dodge deflect. Dodging deflect, boom! Mmm! Oh, that's a burst! Alright, so we're just going to quickly go back into here. So my dodge roll. Uh, where's my dodge roll? So yeah, I've got... Uh, what, wait, what have I got on here? I don't even know what the... I, I don't know which one's which. Ah! Which one's which? Where is it? Where's my dodge stuff? Where's my roll stuff? No, my roll stuff's... <clears throat> it's hard to use the touchpad to scroll on there. If I could move it up and down like that, it would be better, but I can't. Uh, so dodge rush is the one that has the R on it, and I've got dodge combo. That's the other one. Unless you do... Uh, transition swiftly from dodge roll back to the offensive. I haven't found how useful that is, but I don't want to put it, turn it off and then realize, oh, though that's actually super shit. Uh, so push enemies aside, the one that I was waiting for for ages to get, and I went through all of those sigil things to get. Yeah, by dodging the flex now on, because it basically just sends it into a block. Uh, so we're just going to quickly save save that. So I, it, when I go back to my astral deck, I'll still have it, so I won't forget. Uh, and hazard gear, please be the same shape as the one I've currently got. Oh my god, it is. Oh, it's perfect. Hazard gear. Boom. High uh, high magic and combo reach. Alright, well, obviously the first thing is first. And we're going to... I've got so many link things here. We're going to put on the ability gear. Uh, magic bracer. Uh, vitality barrier. And damage control. So what do they do? Uh, fin always finish casting magic. Uh, take half the usual damage when your um, health is low. That's alright. Uh, take one third the usual damage when your HP is full. Interesting. Okay, I'll uh, go back to this so I can see because it says it, it does good magic as well. So if I put a magic, well, yeah, if I put a magic, oh, no, if I put a magic unit on it, how much does it jump up by? Three. That's decent. Uh, how much does power unit jump it up by? Strength 118. No, that's shit. As one would expect. That jumps it up by two, and that jumps it up by one. Wow. Okay, we'll put a magic unit on there, and let's just use this just to see how it goes. 
Oh, it does look cool though. That does look pretty fucking cool. Wait, what was its name? No, the name is super important. What's the name? Darker than dark. God damn. Yo, all right, it's darker than dark. Hey, Axel's sitting down. Isn't he normally standing over there? Hey, everything going okay? He seems legitimately upset. What's up? Are you applying yourself, Roxas? I cannot abide sloth. Um, I'll judge you, you, um, I'll judge by your bonus gauge for days 256 to 275. I believe I've filled every bonus gauge, so it, I should be good. I actually filled it completely. Very well. Uh, uh, clearance for a new mission. Our size for the. Okay, so we've got a group of missions today. Alright. Shion! How you going? Let me talk to you. Are you gonna say words? I'm fine. I'm, I'm sorry, Roxas. Here. This is for you. A shining crystal. Okay. This is actually quite upsetting, just like how this friendship has just fallen apart. And I shouldn't say anything. This is like this friendship between these three has just completely fallen apart. It's just like, oh. Here are your new missions. The part is finished already. Okay. So what have we got? Vanquish the Heartless Threat. I feel like that's going to be a bo the boss that people are talking about, maybe? A powerful Heartless Reading Point Eliminate the Source. Um... Yep, that's that. That's most likely going to be the one that people found annoying. Eliminate the giant heartless, break the jars, and eliminate the emerald. Sarah, fuck you! Another one in Wonderland, really? Why? Uh, exercise of futility. Set up an ambush and necessary wait for your chance to strike. Wow, it offers some good shit though. So we're gonna um fucking save that one. I can't remember if it's clear bonuses or random bonuses that are doubled, but I believe it's the clear bonuses that are doubled. I'm hoping. Yeah, it is. So we'll save that one for fucking last. Damn. Although that being said, I don't know what we're gonna get. Okay, break the jars. Uh, by conducting and spend your luck. Break the jars. We have set uh, assessments of your luck. Some of the jars have been rigged to unleash powerful adversaries when broken. If your luck fails and this happens, avoid engaging the enemy and focus on breaking the rest of the jars. Break fifteen jars. Okay. And what's this one? Uh, giant heartless has surfaced. Uh. Uh, Zeke was already filled, rendezvous with him and eliminate it. Icy cubes, dispatch with magic. You'll give me Mithril and Admancer and Admantite. This just gives me luck tech. Um, and it's not even of any plus variety, so we'll do this one first. Boom. <coughs> and then when we go to the other place, remind me to swap my, my arrows for my fires. Alright, break at least 15 jars and don't get fucked on when you do it. I'm gonna get fucked on when I do it, aren't I? If I had a bunch of luck tech, if I had things that use luck tech, would I go better here? Would I not be as fucked on? I don't know. An assessment of your luck seems a bit weird, but this game does have luck tech in it, so I guess it's like, not too weird. Boom. Whoa, okay. A living pod. Okay. Well, I mean, it says uh, don't fight it if, it if it's here, if you uh, see it, but fuck it. Um, Watch this thing do like a fuck ton of damage if it actually gets the chance to hit me. Ah, uh, oh, run away. Okay, this thing's air- I mean, this thing's- I mean, it's obviously not as good as the aerial gear, but it's aerial combo's alright. A lot of side swings, so... Like, we can get in there. Yeah. I'm not going back to the previous room. Come on, come back here! Also, this is the first fucking jar I broke. The first fucking jar I broke was this. Like, I'm worried that attack is gonna be like a one hit fucking kill because it's supposed to be super powerful and I'm supposed to just avoid it. Or it's gonna do a tele teleport attack and like lift me into the air and that's gonna like fuck me over. But, I'm also curious as to what item it may drop. Like, it may drop like, a really good item and it may be worthwhile killing it. Or it may just give out a fuck ton of hearts. And also, it doesn't seem to be too much of an issue right now. No, it doesn't even do my, that much damage. Okay. Come, fuck up. Damn it, you fucking bastards always wait up super high in the air. Yeah. Do I? Yeah. Well, I mean, did a decent amount. No, you're not grabbing me. Well, I didn't do as much as I hoped. I can use one on this, and then in case another another couple appear, then we'll do that. Also, I am noticing, yes, at the mission gauge, there's a break at least 15 jars, and then it goes beyond that, so they want me to break a lot more. I can do that. Yeah, come back down to the ground. Where are you? You're still spawning super high in the air? God damn it! 
Why do you spawn super high in the air when I'm using weapons that aren't designed to go, like, fantastic in the air? Surprise, I'm even get up high enough to attack you. Oh, fuck off. Well, that did a bit more damage, that attack that it did to me just then. Maybe it, like, hit me properly, instead of just barely. Come back here, living pod. We're gonna get ya. Didn't even drop an item. And gave, like, 60 hearts. Oh, yep, 60 hearts. Alright, well, let's just do that, in case another one appears. Alright. Hey, an item! Cool. I'm curious- wait, okay, so... Wow! Okay, so it's combo attack is really what you want to do. Also, fucking Christ. Another living blood. Okay. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I'm just once again in a situation where it's just like, why didn't I just equip my fucking, um, aerial gear? Why do I have to- why do I have to go for gears that aren't great in the air? Every time I do it, it fucks me over. Every goddamn time. Screw you, champion gear. Fucking, um, rage gear for life. Although, like, this thing's ground combo, it takes, like, two attacks to get, um, to pick up, and they're slow ones, but then you get that Y combo that just does a fuck ton of damage, and it's awesome. Honestly, these enemies wouldn't even be that bad if they didn't just keep getting fucking higher and higher into the air, so I couldn't even hit them with my full combo. Like, at least at the moment it's just here, so I can actually just hit it with my full combo. Also having the extra high jump probably does help, so I can get up high enough to it, attack it with the front of it. Ow. Get out of here. Not a Ow, Jesus. But I feel like my attacks, because they're not designed for the air, are knocking it higher into the air, then it doesn't come back down. Because, like, fuck, I, I had this problem when I used the Eclipse gear and it was the worst, and then I used the, um, actual fucking ra um, Rage gear when I did that mission again, and I didn't have the issue of knocking it too high into the air, it's fucking weird. Like, when it knows that I have a, a gear that's not fantastic for the air, that's when it starts, like, getting really high up. It's just like, urgh, and... and in case you're wondering why I'm killing it again, despite the first one doing uh, nothing for me, it's in case it drops an item. If I can at least see what item it drops, like, if it's a plus plus, um, like, tech item or something, or, like, gear component D, then it's just like, you know what, it was worth it, because then it will help me get them towards those two massive gears at the end. Nah. Let me get ya. I'm gonna get you so much. Yeah. Let me get you. Yeah. Yeah, you can- Ow. Fucking walls. What is this? Dark Souls? Clipping off walls and shit? What is this? Sword of the Berserk? I should read Berserk. It's totally fine though. It's not like one of my friends is a Griffith apologist or anything. It's totally fine. I haven't read it, but I, I still know how fucked that is. Oh, oh, this is gonna make a fun conversation with, um, a certain group on Facebook in a couple days' time. Oh, never mind. Never mind. It's all good. It's all fine. Let's just attack this jar. And if another living pod appears, I'm running away and killing it after I break all the jars. I'll still kill it, because I still haven't got an item. But just hit. Oh. I fucking tried blocking, but I think I blocked too early. Yeah, yeah. So now, so even like when it's that high up, it's still jumping into, it's still defaulting to jump into the air to kill it. Oh, that's his combo attack, it's awesome. Alright, yeah, living, living Pod can stay there for the time being. Watch me re- I was about to say, watch me regret this by having another Living Pod spawn. Now I can't fucking lock onto the jaws to actually attack them. God fucking damn it. Lock onto the jaws! Oh, you're not gonna lock Fine. Okay. You guys are pissing me off. Nyaaaaaah! Yeah! Nyaaah! Oh, awesome! I don't do that much damage. What the fuck just happened? Okay. Just gonna not worry about it. Oh, Jesus! Okay, so that- So that's what it is. If they grab you, it's fucked. Okay, running away was the worst fucking plan! Uh, yes, I'm gonna withdraw because I'm gonna put on the actual fucking aerial gear. Aborted. Do I still get shit for aborting? Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> and there's no music whatsoever. Okay, um, 
So yeah, if they grab you, then it's fucked. And the moment I started running away, that's when I got fucked. Game, your advice is stupid. Um, what abilities did this thing offer for um my abilities? Because I'm thinking just saying fuck it and putting on power units, maybe. Oh yeah, it was the combo, yeah. Higher damage is your combo continues, S like in the middle, jump in the middle of a combo. Might if I get rid of two, will I still get my combo boost? I still keep my combo boost. Alright, well in that case, then we'll put on some power unit, power unit. Actually, how much does the site unit increase this one by? 18. Uh, so, yeah, we'll do that. We're gonna do that and we're gonna see how it goes. <laughs> and then we're gonna try the same mission again. And we're actually gonna kill the fucking things this time. It's gonna be a long mission. In fact, it's gonna be such a long mission, but I'm going to start the mission, do the mission, and then I'm just gonna fast forward it because I'm gonna have to kill so many of those fucking things. Because there's no way I'm leaving them alive and trying to run away from them, because fighting them seems to be a much more effective um, solution. So, you know what? I will see you on the other side, and I'm just gonna not talk because there's no point at this point. <laughs> Okay, so it's been roughly 10 minutes since I started, and there's one last pot, um, vase, or pot, or whatever it's called, and I gotta admit, clever spot for it. I approve. Oh, and hey, no living pod from it. Awesome. So, uh, yeah, uh, living pod, none of them dropped a single item, or at least, if one of them did, I didn't notice it, but hey, we maxed out the mission and we did it. Yay, yeah, it took about 10 minutes. Uh, definitely worth, um, dying to switch over to the better gear. Seriously, this is just... Am I gonna get to a situation where I'm just gonna not want to use that gear all the time because it's better than everything else? Because I don't think so. Because it doesn't seem to be happening. Boom, I even got the ordeal badge, we got some luck tech, and boom! Ugh. Well, there we go. That's it. That's that's one mission so far out of these four. <laughs> uh, and it's alright. The other two missions only have emerald serenades and ice crystals in them. Which one do I want to tackle first? Actually, I guess for both of them, no matter what, I'm gonna want some uh, a lot more fun. Actually, the thunder could be good against the animal serenade. Uh, no, 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 all right. <coughs> Giant house the surface in there. Um, look out for ice cubes. Yeah, that's the mithril and adamantite, and this is the. Oh, that's the plus 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 stuff. Ooh, I think I'd prefer that second. Let me quickly check what the two gears use. What what I need for them. The two um, gears that no 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 not not buying synth 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 synthesizing where are they? Because <coughs> this is important business to get these final two because I, I believe they've gotten everything else except for possibly some of the lower level gears. But eh. <laughs> uh, so combo tech and power tech and oh wow that uses just uses a normal um luck tech. So I just need I just need a premium orb and a gear component D for that. Ooh, it's kind of tempting to look up where to get another premium orb, because I know it took us for fucking- uh, Damn, I kind of wish I didn't use it now. <laughs> uh, oh, it's fine. Um, and this we need- we see, we need another- or a chalcum for that. And power tech plus plus. Is that one of the ones that that mission gives me? I mean, either way, it seems like the, the plus plus mission is definitely the one I want to do second. Please have a power tech? No, this is the- um, Power tech? Uh, yeah, power tech plus plus. See, reward times two- Oh! It's kind of tempting to do this first, go back after I've finished it, to go back to here, because then that will be times three and I'll get three power techs. I think that's what I'm gonna end up doing. So I can guarantee getting three power tech pluses so I don't have to wait for another one. All right, so we're gonna put on our fires no matter what. And yeah, it seems like that that's the really annoying boss um, that's over there in um, Neverland, because it's a giant heartless that's appeared. So uh, all of our arrows, wherever they may be, we're gonna replace with fire. Fire, fire, super hot. Fire, fire, fire. Uh, is that all my fires? Uh, I've got 14 of them, yeah, I sure do. And then, because we can, I'm gonna put on some fires here, because I might need thunders. Watch the boss be super susceptible to thunder, and it's just the icy cubes. But it doesn't matter, all right. So yeah, that's gonna, that's gonna be the plan. To guarantee I get three power tech pluses, we're gonna do Wonderland last. Because I'm thinking ahead here. Alright, wait, double check. Yep, Mithrilon and Mansai. Boom. So we've gotta get that ultimate gear plus. You know, the one that I keep complaining that the weaker version of it is not as good as the gear that I currently have equipped? That one, I gotta make sure.
And I still gotta look up where to get a premium orb to get that, pa I think it's the Pandora gear it was called. Today I'm supposed to take out some kind of giant heartless. You know what, Zigbar's already here? Track down Zigbar, he's already in the fields. Was there treasure chest for this mission? I didn't even check. There's four of them. Any behind us? Not today, Disco Lady. Wow. Oh, also someone was mentioning um that the reason that there are hidden heartless in um this world, it it's kind of it's it's kind of genius, and um I didn't even think about it. There, there's a bunch of hidden heartless in that mission with the leech grave because they're hiding from the leech grave. Because the leech grave is going around eating a bunch of heartless, and that's why there's hidden heartless in the Halloween Town world. And there's a and when someone pointed that out, I'm just like, oh wow, that's actually really interesting. I mean, there were hidden heartless. Actually, I was about to say there was hidden heartless before that were hiding, but they were planted there in the balloons. So much just strolling through. <laughs> Is there just a fuck ton of them here? Defeat all the heartless. Okay. Well, I mean, they all seem fairly weak, and it seems like unless it's the giant ice crystals, then I can just defeat them by just normal attacks anyway. I still love the idea of the Hidden Heartless, like, there's no mention of it, um, actually in the mission, you just get to a point afterwards where it's like, by the way, there's Hidden Heartless that, um, Demix wants to, um, wants you to take care of, it's like, some really in this game does some things really interesting. But like, it's just, like, it's a game where they definitely seem to have been aware of, like, some of the limits that, um, were imposed upon them due to the DS, so they go out of their way to like add little things to other places like the battle system and everything to um give the game a bit more because they can't give it the best combat system so they do a bunch of other things to make it there like most of the cool things from Kingdom Hearts 2 when I think back to it is just that yeah it, there was a lot to its combat system because there was so many different moves you had all the drive forms you had all the um limits um and the summons there was so much it was kind of it was kind of ridiculous just how much there is actually in Kingdom Hearts 2's combat system it's just a shame that it has to use the command deck or commands panel or whatever it's called because apparently there's a different name for different oh hey there's a different name for it and I get, apparently keep getting it wrong between command deck and command panel or whatever it's called. Apparently it has a different name between games or whatever. I don't know. Come here. Come here. Bam. People were mentioning that and I, I was like, the command insert thing here. Again, and, and after playing this, even if Kingdom Hearts 2 just had a way to just press a button to just swap between them, that would be enough for me. I mean, I still stand by my shortcut idea of you ha um, you can have like four drives uh four summons four items and four magic equipped at um any given time to your shortcuts and then you each of your triggers is designated to a specific type of shortcut i still think that would have been a really cool system because i can't imagine too many fights where you'd need more than four of a particular like type of thing unless it's specifically a fight that's designed to like switch them all around i still would have preferred that, but even if it was just a button to just scroll through them. Which apparently that is that exists in Birth by Sleep. Apparently the command insert whatever name it is here in Birth by Sleep has that. Where you press a button and it does that. Um you press a button and it scrolls through. So apparently it has that, so yeah. More heartless? There's wow, how many heartless am I gonna have to fight for this mission? Or am I gonna get a bomb in the face? Hey! That's a lot of little ones. Oh yeah, this is fair. <laughs> Zigba? Zigba! That, okay, good mid. That was pretty badass, Zigba. Thank you. Look, you decided to drop in. <laughs> oh, Zigba's so cool. He's so cool. Taking in the sights. I get it. Gun. We need to back you up. Yeah, that seems to be the case. As if. So he's got some sense of humor. He's sending you to bail me out. What's so funny about that? It's the only thing you'll ever save me from is boredom. Let's get this over with. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'd be so tempted to like style my hair like Zig Buzz if it wouldn't take um, way too long and look awkward AF if um, I had to like to grow that long. They're blocking off. Mm, fine. Is there going to be a Heartless encounter in this in this next room? Or is this where the giant Heartless is? No, then why are you making me go through here? Oh. Hi. I guess. So when they said giant Heartless, did they just mean giant versions of normal Heartless? 
is that what they actually meant? Because, oh, okay. It's not what I was expecting. Mega Elixir Recipe. I am down for this. Also, got some aerial gifts. Again, grateful that I have my fucking aerial gear equipped instead of the piece of shit champion gear. I'm not gonna stop. I'm not gonna stop. Get it, get it, get it, yeah. Come here. Let me fuck you up. They're doing their thing where they're going high into the air. And yeah, and yeah, those um, living pods were, were doing the thing where they keep going higher and higher into the air after I get the second in that last mission, even with this gear. So it's just like, apparently they just suck and are annoying and I don't like them. Get out of here. Just die. I gotta kill them. Actually, I lit. Actually, no, I can't get out of here now. I think. But they're here, so I'm gonna kill them. Yeah. See, yeah, attack me in me there and just keep my aerial combo going. God damn. This is... So at least when this one teleports back down, it goes down towards the ground. The fucking living pods, half the time they'll teleport and they're staying way up in the air. Seriously, why are they designed so when I attack them, they keep going higher and higher? It's... Ugh. Oh. It makes it so annoying to fight sometimes. I'm just gonna walk away let them teleport to me. They said, lower down to the ground. No, lock onto the other one. Might. No, lock onto the one that has less health. Gotta kill one, then we can focus on the other. At least I have Zigba. At least he'll be able to do something for this as well. Ow! The way that looks, is like, it looks like he just pushed me in the back as an attack. It's just like, nah. Seriously, it's amazing how just in the natural way of attacking these enemies, you dodge half of their attacks. It's kinda weird. Teleport down to me, Carrier Ghost. Thank you. You're an idiot. You're a dummy. I'm gonna kill you. Yeah. Boom. Aerial Tech plus plus. Nice. Thank you. Oh, also remind me when I go to um, kill the Emerald, Emerald Terranid, which is not happening next. But yeah, I gotta un I gotta take off the auto lock because, as people were pointing out, that's what was fucking me in uh, Neverlands when I was fighting the Emerald Terranid. It kept auto unlocking and going to someone else, and it was balls. Also, might as well switch over to the Rage Gear for that because it has the more um, damage output for magic. And then I'll just equip nothing but a shit ton of magic. Because that's the best way to do it. Because might as well. But, you know, it's a shimmy room and all this. Considering I've got what people were like hyping up as like the most difficult part of the game in, um, you know, the next mission. You know. Yeah. Apparently, it's just like the most annoying boss in the game. So, although there was, there was discussion between it happening between. Um, it, like a tie between Leechgrave and the one in Neverland. So, you know, funsies. I mean, Leechgrave wasn't super annoying, just unbelievably tedious with how. Again, I would have taken out so many fucking health bars. Also, glad I killed both of them for two aerial type plus pluses. Shit, yeah. Alright, we're going through here. And. What hell's here? Is this the giant heartless? No, just more cubes. Okay. Yep, this is- this mission has just a fuck ton of enemies before we get to the giant artless. Defeat all the, the- okay. Well... I'd much prefer a bunch of little enemies that have low amounts of health than big enemies- than two big enemies that have a large amount of health. Because at least I get the satisfaction of killing these things frequently. It feels like I'm getting somewhere. Unlike when I'm attacking two carriers and it takes forever to kill just one of them. Yeah. Yeah. Ow. Yeah. Yeah. Get me, Elvis Ghost. Yeah. Also, these enemies seem to get hit stunned a lot more by my attacks than the carrier Ghost. Which makes sense. Gimme. Gimme. Give me, give me. And I get you. Yeah, I get you. And I get you to Ow. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're gonna get in there. Oh. Ow. Come on, die, 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 yeah. Come on, I'm right, gonna get ya. Die. Yeah, I swear to god, if there's hidden heartless in this mission as well, and I have to go back and do this mission again, oh, oh, someone's balls are gonna be cut off, and it won't be mine. Oh, it's gonna, oh. There will be serious ball cutting if that happens. Just because there's so many Heartless. I mean, I don't have to kill the Carrier Ghost, but I do have to kill this one, the first two lots. And at least they're not all spawning at once, so I don't have to have fight, like, five Icy Cube. So glad for my damage output, so I don't have to waste fire on these guys. I, 
I'm, I'm at the point where I've like I, I've killed so many heartless in this mission alone. I don't, I kind of just want to take walk the boss. Not that that will happen anyway, but whatever. Die, hover ghost. God. Yeah. You know, I was kind of hoping I'd get to the level end boss in this video, but I have this feeling that's not going to be the case. Cause especially if it's supposed to be like the most annoying shit in the world, I have this feel- Oh no! No! Okay, so one of my headphones has now fallen out and then the cover of it has fa fallen off, so I'd have to reattach it. So fuck it, that can wait. I'll finish the video before I fix up my headphones. Or earbuds, I should say. Whatever whatever you want to call them. I just hope nothing important happens on the right hand side of me. This is the boss. No. It is! Is that the boss? <laughs> that looks right enough to me. Is it? Right, just keep your head on straight. Is this not it? So Pete, no, no, no. It's still saying unknown, so it's still not it. I swear to god if it's leech grave again, I'm got again. I'm gonna cut someone's balls off. I mean, it went full snow crystals before, man. I'm just gonna that one. That also, giant enough to you, with four enemies bigger than that in this mission. Rock says you're weird. Ow, alright, these enemies are annoying. I want to kill the icy cube so I don't waste the fire on the icy cube. And then I'll just shoot some fire at the same time. Oh, I don't even have a um, but to any of my things. That can get a- oh, 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 oh. Quick, uh, that can go to Y, and then this one can go to X. Bam. Actually, at this point, with how much damage it's done, I might- I may as well not even bother. Are you good? There. Bam. So that's not it. Okay, while well, the cutscene plays, I'm gonna pick up my headphones and things- Ah! Oh, it's all gone to shit. There we go. Mission accomplished. That was not the mission, Roxas. You're an idiot. Or is it? Oh, oh, I- There we go. Come on! Quit playing the- Sup? Also, Zigba actually saved me. Like, he actually went out of his way to save me. Oh, it's another one of you. Yeah. Don't mind me, Roman Coke. That's what I call giant. So it's just another one of these blade enemies. Okay. Defeat the Chill Reaper. Oh, damn. That's a serious attack. Alright, well, you know. Chill out, dickwad. Oh, right. It, oh, hey. So it can block my fire too. Oh, oh, oh. Bam, fire. 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 Ow, 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 ow. Are we even touching them after they've spawned till hurts? Damn, okay. Fire. Bam. Scratch my eye. Ow. Bam. I just realized I didn't put on my, um, other gear. I said I was going to because it was going to be a lot of magic. But yeah, again, with all the other ghosts, I'm glad I didn't. But yeah, I set it on fire. It's on fire now. I, I may not even have to resort to my fires. No, I, no, no, I don't. I don't. Range deck plus plus. Oh, all the bonuses. All the bonuses. They're all mine. Now you can say mission accomplished. You could have just told me the ice cube wasn't our target. <laughs> what was the fun in that? Because I didn't, you learned a hard and valuable lesson. Don't make assumptions. And for the record, I did warn you to keep your head on straight. <laughs> and you nearly got chopped in half. Let's RTC. Oh, Zigba. You're cool. Maybe I should maybe I should cosplay Zigba next. There's so many easy people to cosplay for the um, organization because I've I've got the coat for it. Anyone? Anything down here? Anything down here? No. There's still one treasure chest, so I mean... There's gotta be something somewhere. So I'm not coming back to this mission. Someone's gonna turn around and say, Did you get all the treasure chests in X mission? In this mission? And I'm just gonna be like, Fuck. I gotta get it. I'm not leaving until I find it. I gotta find it. How did I miss it? How have I missed it? Oh, well, it's probably off in that secret side area. Right. Can we even go to it? We can go to it. It's probably here. 
Are you here, treasure chest? Let's hope you're here. Oh, this. Oh, my car my car I guess. All right. So, which one of you is the symbol monkey? Which one's a symbol? You know what? I want to kill these things first. I don't want to have to try and kill one of these things while I'm getting turned around. Yes, I know I can block to stop it, but I'm bad at doing that. This game just loves like throwing these these enemies in. There's so like how many of these fucking enemies have we fought in this level alone? With like the living pods and the carry ghosts and the hover ghosts, like so many of them. Like damn, this game loves this enemy type, which is annoying because I don't whatsoever. Just, uh. I find it weird that in this, like, how many enemies in this game have, like, boss levels amounts of health. It's so weird. Like, I don't remember normal enemies having fucking seven health bars in, um, Kingdom Hearts 2. I mean, you even get, like, even the Tentacle, which, like, had, like, a bar and a half. The Hover Ghosts have, like, a bar and a half. Like,. And they're like the most like stop standard enemies. Some of the most stop standard enemies you'll fight. And this is like goddamn. I didn't open one of the treasure chests. Who? Do, can you guys turn me around? Well, hmm. Oh wait. Oh well. Try and grab me. There we go. Oh, I'm sure this is the most exciting episode of this LP that I've done so far. <laughs> oh. Oh, this episode was a write-off. I do apologize, but I gotta do every mission because, I'm, like, I'm still enjoying playing the game at this point. But I am at like there are definitely times where I realize, where it's just like I'm supposed to be LPing this, and the nature of this game just sometimes is just I mean this for 40 minutes. <laughs> uh, Aerial Tech Plus Plus. See, I, this is like the closest that I'm gonna get to grinding in this game, except for that time that I actually grinded at the Geek Planet. So it's, shut up, that doesn't count. That doesn't count because I'm saying it doesn't count something. Actually, I don't think I specifically went out of my way to grind them. I think I had to go back to that mission anyway. Because, yeah, because it was the hidden heart well, heartless thing, wasn't it? Did I go out of my way for it? I don't know. I can't remember if I've ever gone back to a mission specific. No, because I think what ended up happening was I need the Geek Component C, and the next mission was Leech Grave anyway. I think that's what happened. From memory, that's what happens. I think. But now that I think about it, I'm not so... Yeah, cause, yeah, because, yeah, the mission when we saw the first Tentaclaw had the, um, was the mission with the Hidden Heartless. And then the mission after that, you had to fight a fuck ton of Tentaclaws. And I needed the gear component. See, so I answered that. So I still don't think I've gone back to a mission specifically to get components. It's just turned out that it just happens to be the next mission. I mean, that might change if there's a treasure chest that I can, that I can find that guarantees me another premium orb so I can get the Pandora gear, but hey. I presume the Orochal comes li um, specifically limited because of how it was in Kingdom Hearts 2. Um... Oh, whoops. Oh, no, no. I meant to do this. Bam! Uh... Yeah! There we go. Uh, you just gotta do it. Yeah, and boom! There we go! Yay! Aerial Tech Plus Plus. Alright. No, nope, hi Ether. Alright, well we killed the symbol monkey anyway. There we go! Yeah! I finally did it, guys. I finally insta-killed one of the symbol monkeys. I'm awesome. So yeah, because I, f I keep forgetting that you can hold block for a lot longer in this game compared to Kingdom Hearts 2. At least I think that's the case. I'm not actually quite certain. I'm not actually certain. But it feels that way at least. So when I just open the chest, I can just hold it until it does it. So yay! Slowly head back. Oh, I've got so many like, plus plus tech plus pluses. Oh, that's the best. It feels good, man. It feels good. Boop. I'm just, I'm just thinking about the fact that I'm gonna get the Pandora gear and the Ultimate gear plus, and I'm not gonna like them as much as the Rage gear. I'm, it, it's going to happen. I'm so excited about getting them, and I know that I'm not gonna like them as much as this because of the mood set. I can feel it happening. I can fucking feel it in my bodice. Oh, so close to another level up. Look at- Oh, is Aerial Tech Plus Plus new? And Range Tech Plus Plus, they're new? Have I seriously not gotten them before? Oh, well there you go. I thought I had them before. Well, bam. Well, let me quickly check the shop and see what they're actually used in, if they're completely new. That means I might be able to use them for something awesome. 
And yeah, there's no way I'm gonna have time to do, um, the big boss. No, that's not my- Did I say a level up I can buy? No, it's sold out. Never mind. Never mind. Alright. Where is it? Uh, well, that's- that's for insect plus plus, so that doesn't count. Power. And that's the Ankarite thing, yeah. And f with a fire finish. That's still a bit of a weird weapon to have, but it doesn't matter. Uh, where's some plus plus ones? It's combo. Um, oh yeah, I need the lucky ring to make a ring. Uh, so Pandora is that... No, wh which one uses Aerial Plus Plus then? What on earth uses Aerial Plus Plus? Have I not... Ah, uh, oh, there it is. Oh, there's new shit to make! Oh! Oh, wow, okay. Ah, oh, because I, yeah, I got new shit, so maybe that's new shit to make. Okay, uh, that, that would make sense. Alright, so we've got Homing Glide, Rocket Glide, and Float. What on earth is happening? Where is my better glide? Can I buy it? Can I buy a better glide now? Has that been a thing that's been added? No. I need a glide with. Wait, no. No, glide is. No, I'm thinking of. Air glide or. Air, no, air slide is the one that I have that has five slots. I don't have a glide that has more than two slots. So I've got to get one of them at one point because look at this shit. Homing glide. Uh, links to the glide panel allows you to lock onto a target while gliding to automatically move towards it. I feel like that would get annoying. Rocket glide. Uh, allows you to slam past those by gliding right after you begin an air slide. Okay, wow. Slam past foes by gliding right after an air slide, and you just like smash through them. That's kind of interesting. And uh, float allows you to slow your descent by holding B in midair. I don't think I need that, but the rocket glide sounds kind of interesting. And uh, aerial and combo tech and adamantite uh, is any of that for this shit here? Uh, combo tech, I think, is, but adamantite isn't. And that way, how many combo tech did this one use? Well, it's Combo Tech Plus Plus and it uses three. How much does Rocket use? Two. I can still make it. It's still fine. Oh, it's going to be exciting to use that. So, air slide and then glide and you smash past enemies. I wonder how much damage it does. Because it does a decent amount of damage. Damn. Also, it's weird that that wasn't a mandatory mission, given how much cutscene there was with Zigbar. Uh, so, that can go away for the time being. And then Rocket Glide. Boom. So, slam past by gliding right after an air slide. Fuck yeah. Alright, and we're gonna save it! And, oh man. Nothing of note happened this episode. Nothing whatsoever. Oh. Oh, I got- I got- I, I got the rocket slide, I guess. Uh, at least there was some cutscenes for Zigbar, so at least something happened. Point is, next episode is apparently going to be terrible, if this is the boss that people were referring to. So, fuck yeah! So until then, this is version 2, signing out.